Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got Kiss Gel Strong Narcissism and Born Pretty Artist L004. I've started off this manicure with Nail Takes Formula 2 and here is Narcissism by Kiss and here is the Born Pretty Artist L004. It's a really unusual plate. I don't have anything like it. Really excited to play with this one. I'll be using my Born Pretty Black Stamping Polish as well as my monocle stamper, stamper and my beauty scraper. But first, let's get this blue film off of this plate. Give it a quick wipe with some acetone. Get any residuals off of there. I'm gonna go in with my little coat of my base coat, which is Neltique's Formula 2. And when I'm not using a peel-off base coat, this is my preferred. Ooh, I had a fuzzy. So, I do love this base coat. It works for me. Everybody's body chemistry is different, though, so let me know what your base coat is. I'm going to go in with my first coat of Narcissism, and it's a baby whitish pink color. It's so very, so very light, and I expected to have to do, for sure, have to do three coats, but I ended up only doing two. I might could have used three, but levels out really nice. It goes on kind of funky, but baby pinks do that. So here we go with that second coat. Just easy peasy. Nice, beautiful formula. Those light baby colors like this normally are really hard to do, but this one was really easy for me. I'm going to top it off with some Fast and Hard from Vibrant Vinyls get this one to dry down so that we can do some stamping with that Born Pretty plate. Beautiful crisp manicure. Very clean looking. And I'm just going to use five images off of this plate. I'm going to mix it all up. I just thought it was such an unusual plate. And I really do like it. I think it's pretty cool. Love that little profile image of a face. And I'm just gonna, you know, at some points on this, I'm like, well, which, do, which one do I want to do next? I knew I wanted this little rose, though, so we're gonna do that. It's like single drawing lines. It's just such a, I, it's like I said, unusual. I just can't come up with another word. It's just so unique. Love, love it. Let me see, which one's next? What do we want? Oh, I have too many choices. Okay, I'm going to do this little kitty cat. Trying to catch the moon. Just way cute. I think this plate would also be really nice to use for Valentine's Day because it's got like couples on it. And I just think that that's really neat. And they're kind of those images where you kind of got to look at them to figure out what they are. It's like, well, what is that? Oh, okay. There's the couple smooching and just, I just, neat, neat. Sorry, it's a little out of frame with that scrape, but these are like two doves or two birds. I don't, I don't know that they're doves. They may be. They could be whatever you want them to be, I suppose. And then this little heart over here is just talking to me, so I'm going to get to grab this one too. And I'm going to wait and clean the plate up when I'm done. <clears throat> Excuse me. My sinuses are still driving me nuts. Y'all just have to bear with me. So there we go. I'm going to put some of the IMK Peel Ease over this as my smudge-free top coat. I'm just kind of really going over the images. I'm not worried about covering the whole nail with it. Just want to make sure those images are covered. Hello, Woody. How you doing? I knew he'd have to pop in here. I'm going to use this LA Colors Mermaid Polish, and this one's called Hidden Treasure. And I've just put a little bit out on my mat, and I've got just like a little nail art brush. And I'm going to just shadow around the outside of the nails all the way around with this, just to give it a little bit more of some, some. I figured some... <clears throat> Hollow Sparkle would, would work with this one. 
wouldn't really say that this is shadowing, more, I guess, framing out this manicure. And I did that to all of the nails, just went around them, kind of dabbing it in. The little brush. And it's kind of got like rose gold and holographic glitters. I just think it's really pretty. I thought it worked really well with this one. So I'm going to top it off with the Fast and Hard from Vibrant Vinyls. Let this one seal down, dry up, and be butamous for a couple of days. There we go. I'm going to cap that free edge. <clears throat> I am going to show swatch photos of each nail individually because they were all such unique images. I will leave a link to this Born Pretty Artist L004 plate down below if you'd like to go check this one out. And let me know what you think about this plate. I would love to hear from you. Like I said, I've never seen anything like it. I just thought it was really cool. And you know, when you got a plate collection like mine that's so massive, it's nice to see new stuff come out, something that's different. So here is my swatch photo of my manicure. I hope you enjoyed this one. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think. I want to thank you for watching. Until next time, be good to yourself.